Gabby Hanna has had an interesting career online, but regardless of what ideas or thoughts that you may have about her, everyone seems to be pretty concerned as to what is going on on her TikTok right now. And I've seen people leave the same old comment that always is said when things happen with Gabby, such as she must have new music coming out or it's for her album, it's for a song. But I have never seen Gabby to this level before and it is concerning, period. Not only is she just making videos on TikTok, she's also invited a stranger into her home at one point this week and the whole thing is very uneasy. In the last few days, she's been posting random TikToks a bunch at a time, talking about religion, venting, responding to comments, and a lot of these she seems aggressive, extremely passionate. You wanna laugh? Catholic. I was raised Catholic. Cat-holic. The simulation theory is what happens when man can't just admit there is a God. Jesus had a whole lot of followers. He left him Judas help me help me wake the up help me help us it's caused for a lot of concern in the comment section of people wondering where her friends and her family are if anybody is checking in on her and really wondering what is going on here man kind whoa man you guys are boring and dumb i'm sorry tiktok is that harassment and bullying i'm sorry please don't remove this some have been comparing this to some black mirror episode because of this level of concern that people have just seeing her like this via tiktok and gabby has always posted videos on tiktok and youtube and especially in the last year or so she's posted really random content but this past week the amount of videos has really got a lot of people's attention and last night things escalated and all of this that i am scrolling through is everything that she posted from just that one night it was a lot ongoing hundreds of videos that she was posting in one evening alone most of these seem spiritual based as if she has had some sort of spiritual awakening and she is expressing such deep passion and emotion for the things that she is saying. Sadly, some of it hasn't sat right with people. Like when she has come out on live and talked about black women, she has said a couple things that people have deemed controversial and definitely don't seem right. And so it's caused even more of a concern. Black women especially embody the Holy Spirit, because black mothers are always left to raise their babies alone when the father leaves. If she is aware of how people are feeling in the comments or maybe not fully aware, but she is seeing them. And Gabby has posted several videos laughing at people who are worried about her. She's also been blasting music in nearly every single video. The music is very loud, so she is screaming, she is yelling in these videos to talk over the music, and she even admitted that the cops came by her home to check on her and make sure she was okay, and also tell her that her neighbors had called because she was outside screaming at one point. The cops just came to my door because they got a call saying that I was going to hurt myself or somebody else. And then they asked me about some screaming in the backyard, which I'm assuming means I got a some type of report from the neighborhood. The screaming that I was doing in my backyard last night was me screaming encouragement to you because I got to create hell. And the hell that I created for you guys, no really, believe me if you want, was I got to open your eyes and ears to whatever I wanted. Hey, dear neighbors, genuinely thank you for the concern. Last night when I screamed out into the wilderness, not knowing if you guys could heard me, but did it anyway because I had my faith. After the night that she had posted tons and tons of videos, she woke up the next day and went straight back into posting and posting a lot. And she even talked a little bit more about the cops showing up at her house. Yes, literally. And they left me a card. Uh, did not, did, D-I-D, -D, not meet the criteria 
for hold. We'll contact PR with update. Public relations. By the way, precinct, thank you for coming. Thank you soldiers for doing your job. If you'd ever like some feedback on how to approach a woman in distress, how to approach a wellness check. Just ask. I am your humble servant. That same day though, she really worried people when she posted that she let somebody in her home, somebody that she did not know. She said that somebody named Nick claimed it was a stranger. He was just in her front yard and he needed to use the restroom. He came up, knocked on her door and she invited him inside her home to use the restroom and hang out with her. Oh, hi. Hi. Did you use your bathroom? Yeah, sure. Yeah, thank you. Hey, there's fine. What's your name? My name's Nick. Nick? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Right there. Right here? Right there. Right here? Yeah. Oh, thank you. She began to film tons and tons of videos, just hanging out with him, having coffee with him, and people were freaking out. Do you mind being on camera or you don't want to? I don't mind, I don't mind. Okay, so I wanna, oh my God, my hair. A friend just texted me and I told him that I was gonna go on a run for a guy who showed up at my house and was just feeling a little lost, asked to use the bathroom, and now we're gonna go for a run together. He asked to pray with me, it was really nice. He means well, we know he means well. My friend who texted me and told me to get the stranger out of my house. I think he meant well too. Yeah, I think so. But think Nicholas so. is good. And we're gonna go for a run because we already prayed and had our we coffee prayed. and listened to music. Yes. I'm so happy I met you this morning. Yes. Thank you for knocking on my door, Nicholas. Yes. You are a brother in Christ. Nick was a stranger, but he also came with a purpose. And this purpose was terrifying to people at home because they had found his account on TikTok and saw that he had posted on his account that he was going to Gabby Hanna's home and was going to go to her house and see what was going on with her. He had looked up her address on Google. He knew exactly who she was. He knew what she had been posting and he, you know, staged himself as a stranger who needed to use the bathroom and needed assistance. And he was in, she let him in the house. Wanna laugh your ass off? This is a stranger. <laughs> Do what you just did. I'll share my water with you. Literally, bots. He had posted videos in front of her home and he was taking videos all throughout her house, posting it on his own account. And it was creepy. All right, everybody, I'm literally inside of the house right now. I honestly would like to help. I don't know what to do though. So if anybody has any suggestions, I'm here. Everybody says somebody needs to help her. She soon realized that he did actually know who she was, maybe because she was looking at the comment section of her videos with him, and she ended up kicking him out of her house. By the way, Nick, yes. I know you know who I am. Come on. Why did you lie to me this whole time? Why what did you this? lie to me? That's for my acne, you dumb Get the f out of my house, now, now, now. She later reported that somebody tried to break into her home and all the comments were wondering if Nick had tried to come back or what was the case. If she was talking about Nick coming into her home, people were able to uncover that Nick didn't go back to break into her home because as soon as he left Gabby's house, he went live on TikTok to talk about his experience meeting Gabby, why he went and all this. He claims on live that he just wanted to help her because everybody in the comments had been like, somebody should go check on her. Like, why isn't anyone checking on her? And he says that he took that as, okay, like, let me go on Google and look up her address and go and help her, which, oh my gosh, no, that is literally not okay to show up at somebody you don't know's home to Google, that is an invasion. It is honestly just super uncomfortable. And I just don't think that somebody in the right frame of mind would ever do something like that. I don't think that he actually knew why it was wrong to go to Gabby Hanna's home, play as if he is a stranger, be invited to her home. Even though he said he wanted to help her, that is not the way. That's just not the way at all. That's really scary, super inappropriate, not something that anybody should be doing ever, but I don't think that he was in the right frame of mind. I'm not saying I'm a hero, but I don't think it's a bad thing to go over there and help when literally everyone in the comments is saying somebody go help. 
So I was the only one who actually went to go help. So I don't see how anybody can really be that upset with me. I, I understand why people would think that it's clout chasing, but I mean, what am I supposed to do? Not record, not record it? I'm a stalker. Okay, well, why don't you Google her name and uh, you can find her house too, and then you'll be a stalker too. I think a lot of people don't realize what Google is. Check it out guys, it's pretty, pretty epic. You can find a lot of answers to your questions there. He definitely didn't understand why that was wrong. All these people have no idea what they're talking about. I have a video of her inviting me in. I would, I will post it directly after this one. Uh, and when she asked me to leave, I left voluntarily. Everything that happened in there was completely legal. There was nothing illegal about what I did. I was invited into a home and left when requested. This was definitely a really big breaking point for people expressing just tons of concern on every single platform and really hoping that Gabby's family can get in touch with her. I did hear that her sister was saying that their entire family is across the country. They, you know, can't really get in touch with Gabby, but they are aware of the situation. They are concerned and they are trying to get in touch with her. So I hope that she's okay, everything is okay, everything will be okay. I do think that as much as the internet is really a beast sometimes, Gabby has such a big online presence in terms of her reputation and everything. I think no matter how anybody might feel about her, a lot of people can really see that this is definitely something serious. I don't think anybody in their right frame of mind would invite just a stranger into their home, and that is so terrifying. So. I hope everything is going to be okay. That's what's been going on with Gabby Hanna. I hope you guys are okay. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.